Catherine here. I don't usually comment on politics, even though I watch a lot of cable news, because I feel like anything I would say has already been said before by tons of people. And they've all, most of them have said it more articulately than I would, you know. But every now and then, I guess I feel a need to comment on it. And, you know, I think part of it is, I think probably some lies have been spread about my politics. So maybe once in a while I should comment, you know, they said Roe v. Wade got overturned today. And I mean, we kind of had that warning a couple months back, but um, I really just feel like this country is broken, possibly beyond repair with lots of, you know, political things that have happened in the last like 10 years, um, probably longer. It's just like, um, you know, I don't think, I think abortion is sad. I think abortion is sad and I don't know that I would have ever had one unless it was, you know, something where, you know, I was going to die or whatever. You know, like I had done some clips a couple months back where I was like, I can't get pregnant anyway, but if I did, I'd probably fucking die during it because I'm too old. So, yeah, I think abortion is sad. I think it would be nice and it would be ideal if people, more people gave, you know, babies up for adoption. And, you know, I think it's okay if when people are getting abortion counseling, I think it's okay if they also get adoption counseling, you know, just, you know, letting people know like the full range of options. But you can't fucking force people to give up babies for adoption. And, you know, that's the essence of being pro-choice, just realizing that you can't, you can't make a choice for somebody else. Like every situation is individual and you just can't fucking like force that on people. And you know, and I'm upset about Planned Parenthood because Planned Parenthood does a lot beyond abortion. Like they provide, you know, basic health care services for low income women. And I just feel like it's an attack on low income women to get rid of Planned Parenthood. And I'm just disgusted you know, and then they also were saying that, you know, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas has also made comments about, you know, maybe contraception access should be restricted and same-sex marriage and all that. And it's like, how is it that one fucking asshole like Clarence Thomas can just fucking try to like, make these absurd laws, basically. Like, if you're not going to allow abortion, then people need to have contraception out access. I mean, it almost sounds like Clarence Thomas wants a bunch of women to just be, like, barefoot and pregnant and not in the workforce so that, what, men can just, like, dominate, dominate everything more? And it's like... That fucking asshole needs to get the fuck off the Supreme Court, along with fucking Brett Kavanaugh, the rapist, and Amy Coney Barrett. Like, it's just, it's a joke. And, you know, and it's like Clarence Thomas, he's in an interracial marriage. Mitch McConnell is in an inter interracial marriage. Like, you know, years ago, there probably would have been psycho... Supreme Court justices trying to overturn that, you know, it's like, you know, and Mitch McConnell, like Mitch McConnell is going to burn in hell. Like he fucking obstructed Supreme Court nominations and, you know, he's obstructed all kinds of shit in Congress and he's going to fucking burn in hell. 
And, you know, it's like the Supreme Court is broken. Like, Trump broke the Supreme Court. Trump broke a lot of things. They, they're they breaking voting rights. You know, it's just a fucking mess. This country is a fucking mess. And it's like, thank God they were able to pass a little bit of gun control reg- legislation today. But it's like the fucking Supreme Court already just tried to undermine it with, you know, conceal and carry laws. And it's like, I'm just very, very disgusted. And I know, like I said, all this has been said by other people and it's been said more articulately, but I probably should just remind people that I am a fucking Democrat. I was more liberal when I was younger. You know, they say that people tend to get a little bit more conservative as they get older. And I mean, I was more liberal when I was younger because... I think when you're young, you're just naturally more idealistic and more of a purist. But I realize that you can't get like a purist, idealistic philosophy, like, legis- you know, you can't get legislation out of it. Like people have to compromise. Um, you can't... Uh, you can't get everything you want, you know, you can't get everything you want and people need to compromise. So I'm more of like a moderate Democrat now, you know, you got to just try to compromise where you can and get some kind of useful legislation passed. And that's my basic philosophy on that stuff. You know, I think, I think billionaires and millionaires should be more taxed. I think it's ridiculous, you know, that we even have billionaires and, you know, much of the world, much of the countries in this world are fucking dirt poor and yeah, I don't think there should be any billionaires. I don't think it's, I don't think it's morally fair or right. So yeah, tax the rich. Get some fucking gun control. Stop trying to make women barefoot and pregnant. Uh, If gay people want to fucking get married, let them fucking get married. It's like none of your business. It doesn't even affect you. It doesn't even affect you. Why would anyone else getting married affect me? Um, That's it. That's the summary.